Hey guys, what is going on? This is Panther Dragon, and today we got a new video where we play one of the best junglers in 8.10. And I'm gonna show you, honestly, probably the best gameplay coming from me when I was playing on this game. Because at the time, I didn't give a shit. Yeah, I didn't give a shit. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, also do note that I was trying to fix my sleep schedule, so I stayed up all day and night. But yeah, honestly, one of the cleanest gameplays I've ever done, and that's why I decided to post it on my YouTube channel. I'm chat you, you, my 400 loyal viewers. I'm gonna show you guys why I am so good at this game. If I played like this every game, I would actually be rank one. Look at this. You guys are gonna be like, holy shit! I'm actually a god. I'm actually just better than your average bronze player. Watch. First, big play right here. Big play. Okay, at the moment while uh, doing this little segment, my brain was all over the place. So essentially, I'm level 3, he's level 2, I can fight him, but then I realized at this moment, uh oh, I don't have mid priority. I didn't check that before I engaged on here to get the next scuttle. Um, but I do know that Rumbo is going to flash on me because he sees a kill, and I already know that, right? So when I see him flash, I'm going to smite the crab for hit point before I can uh, get reduced hit point increase because he ignited me, right? Like the moment he's flashing is the moment I'm gonna use my smite because there's no way he's gonna do flash ignite. He's gonna use his first few abilities then ignite uh, after his after he presses QWE. In here at the top lane, uh, land my W E onto her just in case she goes to the right. You know, force her to go left. She flashes. I don't think we can get any more because I don't have any cooldowns. She goes back in. Then I'm like, oh wait, she's dead. Like a hundred percent dead. Um, she miscalculated because she thought she, she could kill Yasuo, but Yasuo has his windshield, so she didn't calculate that in her head. Get sc okay, I'm gonna show you the plays that are actually fucking high. Alright, brain jumbled up again. So let me, let me explain this in detail on how this works. So essentially, I know Rumble was mid lane, he's somewhere, and he knows he can feel he, he can duel me. I'm level 5, I do have skirmishers, so there's a chance I can duel him, but I don't want to really fully commit. Look, he's kind of tanky strong. I jump on him, dodge the E, because I already predict that he's going to think I'm going to go up there. And then I jump on him, skirmishers him, W him. But the, here's the thing, I don't have my Q up. So, at this moment, there's no way I win against his ignite. I may have a little mini ignite and 15% reduced damage, but I don't have my Q and I don't have level 6, and I'm not staying to fight him in his zone. So, I essentially just bait out his cooldowns as Ignite and Ultimate, and don't fully commit. There's a chance that Jax could have been with him to fight me. I didn't predict that though. If Rumble had Flash, he would have killed me, but luckily he didn't because he used it at the Crab Battle. But at the time, I didn't think he had it. Get the Scuttle. Get this. And then, see some action here. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm so fucking good. Watch. I didn't see Karma flash, I'm gonna assume it's up. Jin has flash too. Hits pull, I know this is gonna happen. What do I do? Oh yeah, I flash instantly. I was, I was thinking I was thinking I eat onto here, but it's not gonna hit. W's not gonna hit. She's dead. One auto. W, make sure it hits. Connect. Auto and an ulti to finish her off. Cause I think that's a combo. Let me go more in detail here. I think what I was thinking through my head was if I did the second auto attack to like actually finish her, I was scared because she might have like something to slow me and I wanted to ensure that I kill her and I knew my ultimate would kill her right there so I used it. But if you actually look, they both have no mana so they can't CC me and then kill me. So I could have actually just walked up and then ran away. If they both did have mana, Jin could possibly root me, as well as Karma have a shield or something to get away and then I'd probably die to the tower. One miscalculation. But it doesn't matter, my ult is on a low cooldown. And then, we know Rumble is coming bottom, we have a ward. And, yeah, he's MIA. So, what I do is we print the BAFK, and then I'm like, wait, 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 he might be stupid. If he's stupid, he'll take this path. But if he's smart, he'll take this path. He must have cannon though. Well, actually he misses anyways. So, wait, 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 wait. I, even I see it too, let's get it. Dumb bitch, and look, look how I path, look. Look, I'm moving forward because I know he's going to flash. I know he's going to flash. I'm so smart. Also, I didn't, I didn't say in the VOD, but if you actually look, I'm actually so smart because I didn't realize it also right now, but I held my E 
because I knew that he was gonna flash over the wall. So I have a gap closer to follow him if he flashed over the wall. Like, I'll be honest with you guys, I am actually like kind of surprised how I'm playing because I usually don't play this well. Scuttle crab bottom, gimme, 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 gimme. Then I say, oh, you guys are overextended. You guys are fucked. No flash, no flash on karma. All right, cutting in. Uh, so yeah, karma, no flash, Jin has flash. And what I meant to say was Blitz has a lot of CC. And Nivea is gonna cut off karma because she has to run into me with uh, Nivea ulting, right? So look how I'm pathing. I'm pathing already to where Jin is gonna flash over. I'm not running into Jin, I'm running towards where Jin will flash. Cause I already see that and visualize it in my head. Right now, uh, myself doing the VOD review, my brain is just too stupid to comprehend what I just did. So, you know, at the moment I'm trying to explain, but at the moment, my brain can't convey the message it wants to speak of how the play was going. And then, I play this so well, I'm so fucking good, watch. Jax has Counter-Strike, so I'm gonna go for him. Like, ja Jax, Counter-Strike. I, I don't wanna fight him, I already know I can't do damage right now. So, I'm aiming for the Rumble. Oh my fucking god, I'm actually just so smart. Again, you have to realize, I'm proud of myself. Like, I couldn't believe how good I'm playing at the moment. That's why I keep calling myself smart. And the way, like, my brain is processing information and visualizing what's going to happen next, my VOD reviewing person right there, aka me, is just so damn proud of myself at the moment. Like, I wish you guys could appreciate as much as I'm appreciating right now how well and thought out I'm playing. Because I don't usually do this. I kind of usually play two steps back, but now I'm just playing so good. Because I know I can't kill him, so I just jump on the rumbo. But I want to knock away Jax. Uh, and, and I get the ult, because I don't want to fight him with his ult or E up. So I'm trying to kill him, but I get I get pushed out of... Uh, I get pushed out of the wall. And then I just kind of go for him. Uh, and I hit my W, but I know I can't go in. No one's tanking, right? So I'm just kind of autoing minions and waiting until she tanks. She does that. All I do is Q auto, or auto Q, and then I run away because it's a teleport. I'm so smart. I, I've never played so clean in my life. And then I even get the Scuttle because I even ward this. Someone's coming for me, Jin. And I get the Scuttle. I don't have enough money for whatever. So, sucks to be suck. Anyways, back to bottom line because they always overextend. And I'm just fed out of my mind where I can just kill them all. Uh, who do I kill here? They both don't have flashes, but I think it's... I think I can go for both of them. I think I go for Jin actually. I have to dodge Matt. I have to dodge Q. Dodge it. Oh, that was... That was a weird juke. Scripting juke, by the way. And now he positions himself where they both kind of get fucked. But Jin seems like the better option. E on her, just for, you know. Use phase rush to ensure I get my E off. But I also W her because I know she's de he's dead, right? So I need to slow on her. Get the slow. Then, give an auto. What did I do? I was gonna auto him. Uh, I'm so smart. I, I, I know I have nullifying orb. I'm just kidding, I don't. But, um, I tank one shot. And then, actually I forgot she had her Q. So I was like, fuck, I'm dead. But then I E on this. Get that recover, 53 health. I don't even need 53 health. I'm just there to tank for her. That's all I do. And then I push this in. Who can stop me? Nobody. I know where they all are. I have a, I used my brain. All this is all happening, all this mechanical level decision making, I'm also looking at the mini-map. So it's like I have two brains. I go top. Why do I go top? I don't know. Forgot. Oh yeah. Because um... I think I auto pass there for some reason. I wanted a top tower and rift. I actually don't know why I went top. And then I'm like, eh, uh, these camps showed as up. So I didn't. I was thinking of counter jungle. I'm like, is what's better, this or this? And it's like, well, I have so much pressure that I might as well just go or rift herald. So I get this, very efficient. Instead of cucking the enemy jungler, so I get this. I don't remember what I use it for. I really don't. Anyways. I say, I'm thinking top. I think I wasted time here. Oh yeah, no, no, I checked this camp if they were up. Um, and then here, so I E on to here. Now I know he's gonna W here, or something. I don't know, I don't remember if he had flash or not, but you know, I was gonna W him. Slow him, he's dead. Eh, runs away. Then, I say, 
Let's get this tower. Who can stop me? Jack's two bot, one top. I don't. There could be two mid. Then I say, all right, this tower is dead. I ch I time it so that I can get it out, as well as uh, not hitting the tower. You know, I want it to pop out as I kill the tower. She teleports top. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna get two procs, and then I'm gonna try and dash on him if I see the opportunity. But then I see she's there, and I'm like, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna tank. So I, I kind of back out, and I'm waiting until Blitz does something. I don't know if I'm gonna follow up, but then I see, oh, the chain CC, so she's dead. So I chain CC that. Make sure I use my ult just to burst her. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I say, all right, let's get the objective. But surprisingly, my team gets a kill on him. I just stab him. Then. I just go for the tower. This is risky. I don't know what he has. I'm kind of scared. But I'm confident that we can actually get this. But I'm not confident that we'll get the inhibitor. Then I say, screw this. Let's go. I definitely don't want to get dragon. Not right now. Unless I'm given opportunity. But he gets a kill here. So I actually can get. Hey, screw up. Uh-oh. Inhibitor's go. Uh -oh. Yeah. He gets a kill here. So I pressure it. So I can do dragon. I think I was looking for gold because I was going to get... I think I was going to finish Triforce or something. Yeah, I think I finished Triforce. Uh, I got something. I don't know. Alright. Uh, new clothes, new me. Less, uh... Less cocky. A little bit more awake and, and kind of giving a shit. Kind of. Not, not too much. But anyways. Back onto the video. Um... So, right here, what I remember is walking into this bush and then a Fiora coming out to fight me. Now, when you fight Fiora, hug the walls. I have not learned this before. Do you know why? Because I don't play top lane and I usually don't duel a Fiora. Uh, this, is a, this is a topic I don't really, don't really think about. I thought, hey, maybe we can kill her. And honestly, we probably could have, but then Guess what? I'm an idiot. Uh, I didn't see where my teammates were. Honestly, it was a really bad fight. What the best scenario this could have been was we instantly burst the Fiora um, and then get out, which was probably what I was kind of going for. Because there's no way we win this. 3v5? Nope. Don't win. Also, I know I was a little distracted because I was checking another monitor. Um, since I was checking my Twitch chat. Anyways, <laughs> big ace. Big ace. One mistake could have thrown the game. We actually, if Baron was up, if it was 20 minutes, we would have lost. Uh, or it would have been a really hard game. And when you, if they got the Baron, if we got the Baron, or if they got the Baron, we have to stall until it runs out and just minimize the impact. Right here, look, look at here. You think, hey, Pan, you're gonna think, you're stupid, Pants. Why aren't you going in? Help him. You know what I'm thinking about at this time? I'm thinking about if I jump in on this, Jack's counter strikes me, I die with him. So, I know from the beginning that I should not even touch that. And I wish I could play like this all the time because I am actually just making the correct decisions and like, woof, my head, honestly, is just like this game. I'm, I'm just so proud of myself. I've never been so proud of myself on how clean I play this game. I don't follow up on stupid stuff. I own, I've own. i made a little stupid stuff happen. That one, you know, at the Fiora, that was my bad. Um, it, in my head, it played a little bit better. And let me talk, let me talk about um, visualizing. Visualizing team fights, how they should go. You think of how the team fight should go with all the champions in your head. You think about the fight before it happens. That's how I usually think of ganks. Visualizing how these ganks work. Right? And that's what I'm doing. How does team fight works? Jax, he's gonna E onto me, counter strike? Okay, I wanna avoid that. Can't kill him. I can't even damage him. No point of me going in. Maybe I can knock him away with R. So right here, this is a barren this is a barren bait, right? Here's the thing. This is 8.9 barren. Well 8.10 barren. This barren hurts. Alright, we can't start it. We can't do it unless we just rush it. We don't have a mountain. If we have mountain, we can actually do it. But we can't. And I'm like, assist, look, look how I'm positioning. This, I'm the one pinging this, right? I'm pinging this. I'm like, yeah, we, we've got, we swept everything. But this Nivea, 
she ruins it. She starts pressing R in it. I'm like, wait, 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 I can't take. Look, look, I've already been chunked. I've literally already been chunked. So essentially what happens is I have to run out of the pit and wait for someone to initiate. But what I'm visualizing is the Blitzcrank trying to pull someone. And I'm very angry at my Anivia because in this patch, you don't do Baron without a tank. No, you can't. Just unless you're rushing it, then you can do it. Or like if you're dead set on Doom Baron, then you can like, you know, do it. Essentially. Where did I go? I went to camps. My team, they get caught. Um, so I'm like thinking, should I jump in? But then I see this guy just hard in, so I just kind of like kill for him. He like got a nice like kill on the Caitlyn, but whatever. This at this point, it's time to run. Three v three. Pretty sure we don't win, but I'm pretty sure I can kill him. Um, I missed the W honestly at this point. I was extremely tilted from, what's his name, the Nivea using the R on the Baron. This is what happens when something doesn't go your way. And you can see, I'm mechanically playing this bad. Uh, I missed the W in Jin. That was, if I'm thinking about it, like, I'm on track, I can hit it. But since I was super confused at my Nivea, started hating her, you know, I even started typing to her. What are you trying to do? You're trying to lose this game, etc. I just have to let it out. I like, I know it's bad. It's bad to like even type it, but sometimes you just gotta let it out. You gotta vent. You can't, bottling things up, bad. Bad for you. Bad for you. Letting it out, you feel a little better. They start doing Baron. Very unlucky. But it's new Baron, so very unlucky for them as well. Huh. And this is what happens. This is why you should never do Baron. It is so hard to take down without a tank. You have Cho'Gath level 16. Oh, okay, you can do it. But no tank? Very sketchy. And look, this is this is essentially why you don't do Baron anymore. No more. Look at me. Running in? I'm running in to zone them. Um, I get slowed. Okay, fine. Uh, what happens here? <laughs> I think, I think uh, I'm think i like, okay. Maybe I should have turned on him, but I thought I could chase. Either way... At this point, this is a this is a misplay, by the way. I should have just turned on Rumble. Uh, right here, I'm just trying to chase the Karma. In this bush, uh, I see an airy pop here. Oh, yeah. Right there. She sees it. Okay, fine. That's fine. Um, I can try and chase, but honestly, she's got too much. Too much. Can't do anything. So the instant I see that, I just stand here. That's all I do. Stand here. Do this. This is the only thing I can do. I could do my creeps. I could do blue buff. I don't even know if it's up though, because I haven't scouted it, so it could be gone, you know? But yeah, I need to push this lane. I want to get pressure. That's why I push it. Uh, if there's like a lane right here, if there's like a CS, no one's grabbing it, might as well just push it. Because when you push in minions, you get pressure. Sick. Now, I see a free pick here. I'm pretty sure, I don't even know if it's all warded. Like, this side, not sure if it's warded. The, I have to see how someone reacts. Um, he didn't react to me moving uh, from here. But uh, that's how I know it's not worded because he would instantly react in. All right, I'll, here, I'll show you. Sorry. Let me let me let me let me say that again. So here's Jin, right? He's pushing it out. Uh, the moment he sees me in the river is when he'll back off, or when he's done clearing the wave. He says this mini is not worth it. Otherwise, I might die. He doesn't know where anyone is. Oh wait, never mind. He did see me. God damn. Okay. Well. Anyways, whatever. No one can contest me. I'm dumb. Either way, I'm just going in 1v5. Uh, he catches me. Okay, cool. Hit him with the W, and he jumps into me. I can okay, I can actually just go on this, but yeah, he misplayed. He thought he could kite me. You can't kite a what's her name. And then I also jump on her, but I know like since I have backup, like she can't go on me. So I just E on her, but then she, I essentially just bait it. Like, I'm not going to hard engage on that. I know I cannot fight her in that sense. I'm waiting until his Counter-Strike is gone. Then I can E in and then kill him if I can. I need to kite out everything. I don't want to get CC'd. I'm going to try and dodge everything. We get two picks. This is free Baron now since, well, we're pretty fed. We do a lot of DPS. We have Windwall. And also a very good zoning champion. Very good. I even tell her, hey, go zone. We have enough damage to do this. So, we do. And, yeah, now we can be Baron, right? Because two people are dead. Uh, at this point, I do want to just end it. I don't care um, about the Rumble ulti. I would like to you know, just throw the zone. But, uh, yeah, finish it. It's getting really low. There's no way they can fight us to be five, and they all die for it. And essentially, me, I'm just going to try and, like, kill this. Karma. She's too fast. 
Um, and I dodge, I like anticipate that a karma shooting a Q. I'm, I'm gonna feel she's gonna shoot it straight at me. So, when I, the moment I hear like a sound effect from her, I'm gonna try and dodge it. I think that's how my mind works. Could work differently, who knows. Anyways, let's get some nice call. Uh, Counter Strike, again, I could avoid it, but, or I could like wait until it's gone. But, you know, go for that again. I can tell you right now, though, from my perspective, or how, how the attitude I had before I put on this black shirt, knew everything that was right and correct. Right now, my my mind is clouded. So, uh, yeah. Honestly, I was in the perfect mindset with, when uh, I didn't have this shirt. But now, I... Sometimes I'm wondering what I'm doing and trying to rethink what I was doing. Because again, this, this was made yesterday. Anyways. Thank you for watching, but I want to show you some interesting stuff. I want to show you some interesting mechanical unk play. Um, I'm waiting until Graves... What I was doing was I was waiting until Graves like came into this here. That's why I was standing here. And he did, right? And he sees Scuttle is gone. So that's why I'm just waiting until someone like kind of wants to screw around with the scuttle. That's why I was standing there. And that's why this board is here. So now, I have an idea of what he wants to do. He looks like he's pathing this way. Or he's pathing this way into his golems. But probably he's pathing here. If he was pathing to his chickens, he would have pathed this a little to the right. But he hugged the wall. That's how you can read pathing. Is how, uh, like, is the direction or like, you know, their champion is taking the path to whatever right so that's why i predicted he'd either go here or here which is probably going to try and gank top because he saw the scuttle so i'm gonna i'm gonna this is the best play i've ever done in my life check this out w e for the auto attack speed or attack speed get the auto q lift him up i don't have flash remember that i'm waiting until he flashes over or something i don't remember but i put the ward over just in case right so Check this out. Stab. I know he's gonna flash here. Instant. I know he's gonna flash up. That's why this ward is here. Uh, then I was so hyped that I missed the W. W should have actually hit, but I wasn't thinking. I was not thinking, and I was just like, damn, I'm clean. But anyways, that's all I want to show. That's all I want to show. And that's what, and hopefully from this video, you guys understand one thing that I did that I think I wanna do more is visualizing ganks. If I can do that every game, with also a not a give a shit attitude, you can be the best player ever. Visualizing everything that that you're gonna do in like 10 seconds before it happens. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Also, we kill him. Maybe you guys wanna watch this. Check this out. He almost baited me. I cheated. I have nullifying orb.